I'm extra. It's cold. You already know why I'm here. I I wanted to do a Q&A video. I feel like I've already done a Q&A video, I think. I think I did like one. But I wanted to do a new Q&A Q &A video and the last time I tweeted about it, I got all but two responses. So I was like, I'm not gonna do that. This time, I got a lot of responses and I posted it on my Instagram and Twitter. So we're gonna go through some of those questions. But let's recognize right now that there are some questions that are not gonna be asked or answered because some of them are fucking stupid. That's all. All right. <clears throat> also, look at my baby. What's your rising sun oh, and moon? I don't know what my sun sign is my rising my sun and my moon i'm an astrologer and super curious oh, i'm a gemini um with a virgo rising and a cancer moon so take that take with that what you will favorite concert you ever attended i saw lady gaga for my 16th birthday at the fucking art rave and you motherfuckers let that fucking album flop and i will never forgive you for it i also saw chris brown but we're not gonna talk about that Mm, what was your favorite Siri? No, just Siri. Charmed is my favorite show of all time. I, I flipped through a lot of the same shows like Workaholics and It's Always Sunny and Arrested Development because they're funny, but Charmed is my favorite. Mm, how, how long have you and your man's been together? Two years. Do you still sing publicly? Kind of. I'm in a show right now in Garden Grove at the Gem Theater. Buy fucking tickets at one more productions for nine the musical antonio banderas was in it in the original cast and he was also in a movie about it with fergie but we're not going to talk about that because it was bad would you ever adopt a child i have a child favorite cartoon character bugs bunny bitch i love an alliteration my dad used to call me bugs so how long did you know you were trans before you decided to transition Probably like six months, honestly. Look where we are now. How did you enter porn? I already made a video on that, so I'm gonna Vanna White my own shit right now. Thumbnail. Will you be up for more? Yes, will you up be? Will you be up for doing more weed related content? Fuck yes. Fuck yes. What's your experience or impression on living in the U.S. in this current societal climate? I think a lot's happening right now. I think that's a very big question. We've definitely entered an age where feelings matter over... Oh God, I sound like Ben Shapiro. <laughs> People's opinions matter more than facts a lot of the time. So you can you can say things that are just true and, and they'll say, well, well, I don't think so. And then it's just, it's just done there. There's no way to go anywhere beyond that. So I think that's a difficult part of it. But also there's still so much racism, dude. It never went anywhere. It just became more subtle and that's scary. Plus like the whole climate change thing, like It's stressful. And climate change den deniers, like that, that drives me fucking wild, people. Because people are like, well, it's snowing now. What about that global warming? But it's not global warming. Stop listening to everything you hear. You need to do your research because it's climate change, because it's not making just the world hotter, it's making the weather patterns more extreme, meaning the hotter hots are gonna get way hotter, and the cold colds are gonna get way colder. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, what made you wanna cut your hair? I also made a whole video about that.
When did you know how attracted you were to straight men? What? When did I know how attractive I was to straight men? I don't know how attractive I am to straight men. But I know that I'm attractive. Right? I make eye contact with people a lot, and when we go out in public, like, it's not just straight men, like, everyone looks at me. And I don't know, that sometimes that makes me insecure because I'm like, fuck, is there something on my face, you know? Like, do I just look really, really bust right now? But a lot of times I feel really cute, so I feel like people are, people just, I think I just call a lot of attention to myself without trying. So, you're still doing porn. Yes. <laughs> what is a Q and A? I don't know. End of video. Let's go. Do you think you will fully transition? I think that's a stupid fucking question. In all fairness, fully transitioning looks different for everyone, and so there are a lot of people who who are comfortable not getting certain surgeries or you know, not going on hormones and stuff like that. And that's perfectly fine. And that could be fully transitioning to them. For me, as of right now, I th feel like I have fully transitioned for the most part. So that's kind of a loaded question because there's no there's no real full transitioning for anyone because I, I, I feel like a woman now. And I think what people don't realize is that like a lot of people, I think, I think people still really get confused like people confuse trans women with drag queens and they think that like oh there's gonna be some surprise but like obviously there are some women who have a surprise but in the morning you're not gonna wake up next to a man in some lingerie i i look like obviously like no eyelashes and like my makeup off but like i look like this when i wake up like i look like a woman 24 7 that's because i'm a woman i I experience a lot of the a lot of the same things that every cis woman experiences. Sure, I don't I don't like bleed out of my vagina once a month, but I do take a lot of hormones that cause me to go through the same symptoms besides the bleeding, pretty much. So I I go through everything. I get catcalled on the street everywhere I go. People call me Miss and Ma'am. And that's not because everyone's just being respectful. It's because everyone just looks at me as a woman because I'm a fucking woman. Ugh, it's too bad. Oh, this is a good, oh, this is a good, 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 good. You're given a million dollars to sing a song perfectly with no mistakes. What song do you sing? Lucky by Britney Spears. <laughs> or Super Trooper by ABBA. <laughs> Woo, I felt like I had crazy eyes when I did that. Like a psychopath. <laughs> this person said, you are transgender by birth? I mean, I guess. Yes, I mean, a lot of people don't know this because a lot of people don't do their research and they just, hear what they think and they choose to not look into anything but scientifically people who are are trans their minds are developed in the same formation and in the same ways of their preferred sex so if we were to take an x-ray or a, a scan i don't know what they do of my brain it would be like a simu very similarly structured to that of a cis woman and same for trans men with cis men so do your research on that, but people won't because they just want to be assholes. This person just said, fuck. <laughs> I feel that. I'm on that. I'd be that. Top three movies. Miss Congeniality. Scream. And... What's another good movie that I really like? Oh, I really like Snatch. I really like Snatch. Snatch is a good movie. How long ago did you start transitioning? I started transitioning when I was 16. So, it'll be five years pretty soon. That's crazy. It's been a long time that I've been a lady. Outwardly. Your fave ma makeup products, please. Give me the fucking Fenty Buter. <laughs> 
Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. That bitch is good. The lip too. And the fucking concealer. But I don't have like the the dip concealer. I have like the OG like cream contour. And then I just use that for concealer. And that shit is bomb. And and the fucking and the powder too. Sponsor me, Fenty. <laughs> okay, now I'm moving on. Those were all the Instagram questions and I'm there's I'm done. <laughs> so now I'm moving on to Twitter. <laughs> When's your album dropping? <laughs> Shut up, you funny girl. How often do you get hit on in public? I don't know how long you've been together with your significant other, so this might be assuming a single life that didn't exist. At what point in talking to a potential match do you come out as trans and has that caused problems when that all, when all seemed okay? So, how often do I get hit on in public? I don't get hit on in public where it's just like out, people are outright like in my face about it, you know? But also I'm like a huge flirt, so I just... Also, I, and I make eye contact with people, so I'll like, I, I know when people are looking at me, you know what I'm saying? At what point in talking to a potential match do you come out as trans? So there's um, a thing with these young YouTube trans girls that I have a slight issue with. Some of, some of the girls, some of the girls are really nice, and I'm a friends with one of the one of the beautiful trans YouTube women. But there, there's a trend of like he didn't know I was trans videos coming out. And I think there's just a little bit of a problem with that because that's kind of like, that's like a really negative stereotype in like porn that like I'm trying to fight against because people are like, oh, well, he didn't know. And there are a lot of trans women of color who are beaten and murdered for that situation, you know? And I think it's, I don't know. I think it's just kind of shitty to try and capitalize off of something that is ca causing like suffering for other people and is potentially detrimental to our community because there are still a lot of people who aren't fully educated. So yeah, so for me, when I was single and dating, I, it, it was one of the first things that I said to people when I was seriously dating. And there was a time where I wasn't very seriously dating, but I was just trying to kind of talk to people. And so I wouldn't tell them that I was trans and I'd let them get to know me. So I could almost be like, <laughs> a social, so I could be like a social activist because I like wanted people to get to know me so that they would, when you like first meet someone and you say like, oh, I'm trans, then there are a lot of people who are not interested and so they'll just like write you off completely and they won't talk to you. But for me, I want people to talk to me and get to know me because I, I have a good personality. I think I'm funny and I think, you know, I'm nice and all that stuff. And I wanted people to get to know me before they assumed anything. And then I would tell them to show that like, we're not freaks, you know what I'm saying? But you shouldn't do that, and that was something I just tested out, but you shouldn't do that because that puts a lot of girls in harm's way. And for me, the first thing that I said to most people was like, hey, I'm trans, just letting you know, like if you're not interested, I don't feel like, I would rather not even talk. Because I think, I don't think it's, I feel like you have to take care of yourself first and foremost. So, would you like to go into mainstream acting, acting, acting? Would you like to go into mainstream acting slash modeling at some point in the future? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like acting and acting's fun and I've, always, and I've always been a performer, but I would love to try modeling someday. I think that'd be super cool. How to meet trans in city. You know, I understand wanting to experiment and being attracted to trans women, but I think that there's a certain point, like it's not just a preference thing, you know? I don't know, that's tricky, because I feel like there's a certain point that if you're specifically looking at trans women, that's when it's kind of becoming, that's when it turns into a fetish, and that's when it becomes disrespectful. So what were some unexpected, unlisted side effects of HRT? Well, I mean, everyone's excited about, like, well, at least trans girls, for the most part. For me, I was super excited to like get boobs. I was like, yes, like, ooh, they're growing. But um, I didn't expect my face to change so much. That was, that was unexpected. I didn't expect to like get like period symptoms, if I'm honest, and people are gonna be like, no girl, you're crazy and you're, you're reaching. But like, 
it's not just me and there's like <clears throat> they're like it, it's a very well recorded thing that trans women who are on HRT do sometimes experience like cramps at a certain like at the same time of the month every month cyclically so that's kind of not what I was expecting because I, I didn't really believe that until it happened and I was like oh my god my body feels like it's punching itself I feel like I'm dying and, and your nipples get really sensitive it's a whole thing uh, whoa. is communism inevitable I don't know I think there's a lot of education that's got to happen before we get there because I think a lot of people so a lot of people still think that communism is like just us trying to starve millions of people which happened which was a mistake that we need to learn from but millions of people are starving literally right now already and I think realistically there this economic system is not set up to sustain and re the, redistrib the redistribution of the wealth to the working class I think is the only way that we will um, survive and that the only way that we will remain because there will that something will happen soon I'm not saying there should be violence I'm not saying there should be anything but I think that there are a lot of systems in place that are working against us and the only true way that we're going to be able to save ourselves is by giving people living, working wages that they can actually survive on and redistributing the wealth. No one should have billions and billions of dollars while, while millions of people are out on, out on the street. And we need to do something very quick and very, very drastic about this climate change situation because people are going to keep denying and denying and dying until the day that something really bad happens and the storm's just going to keep getting worse. So. That's what I'm saying. Come here, little muffin. Come here, muffin boy. Come here. Come here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You're a predator. You're a killer. Oh, yes. Have you ever seen something, a creature so perfect? No. Will you, will you ever get rid of your pinnet? <laughs> will you ever get rid of your pinnace? That's none of your fucking business. Sorry. It doesn't matter. If I if I choose to do it, then I'll probably talk about it. But that's none of your business. <laughs> this is probably this no, this is not probably this is our last question. K K K K K K K K K K cool. C U D. Could you share some parts of your relationship with your boyfriend? Challenges, fun and romance, jealousy fights, like the things that couples face. And who says sorry first after a fight? Um, some parts of my relationship? I don't know. We spend a lot of time together, but we have a very open communication. So, I don't know. We, we don't really fight like we used to. I think a lot of people think it's, like, specifically with our generation, we think it's cool to be, like, or funny to be, like, petty and, like, kind of hurtful. And it really does nothing, and it just makes, makes you resent each other more. And... I really respect him and he really respects me and so we want to be the best for each other and for ourselves that we can and so we took some tips from what Will and Jada Pinkett Smith to like try and never talk to each other in anger and try to like really assess your feelings before you talk and it's not hard to like have basic respect for each other that's 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 what you should be doing in your relationships but also your friendships like it's the same thing same thing with your family like you should be open and, and you should be able to like talk about your feelings without being pointed and without being aggressive. Oh, so that was my Q&A. I don't know how this is going to be. That, there were some interesting questions in there for sure. So, so thanks for coming and watching. I'm going to have some videos recommended. You can watch my other shit. Check out my hair cutting video. I, I like cut it and it's like really cute and I love it. Like, if this po- <laughs> If this video gets to 50,000 likes, I'm going to show my tits. <laughs> but not on YouTube. I already show my tits. Just like my shit. And talk to me in the comments. Don't be a dick. Bye.